Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's of which is on Vernal Bike from 2010. So on the front of the box here, see the logos, the Hero Factory symbol, and picture of the Vernal Bike running through Maka Hero City, and a little bit of the blueprints of it. It says Vernal Bike down below, and it says... An age recommendation 8 through 16, set number 7158 has 165 pieces. And also, of course, from the makers of Bonacle Characters, HeroFactory.com. And onto the back, you see a picture of Inferno Bike going up against Von Nebula, and suddenly the bike parked Inferno next to it, and also shooting off the meteor launchers or whatever. Yeah. And out onto the booklet, on the front of the booklet, same picture as on the front of the box, everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And out of Lego Club, out for a promotional poster of Fuel Factory. Then Furno and Stormer going up against Von Nebula. Then HeroFactory.com and the map of it and the pieces that come with the set, of course, and the last steps. And first of all, for the driver being William Furno, him or himself. Well, this exclusive version, well, exclusive version, but like the only thing that's exclusive to him are the feet and the limb pieces, but the hands and all the rest of which it's just the same as the cancer set version, that is. But although, one good thing is, for them in red, you can make other heroes with, of course, and also the uh, feet pieces, Apatorn feet in red, uh, which nice for mocking and all. And of course, have the blue pins on the sides, which are to peg them into the bike, of course. Like, as compared to the other version of Furno, also in the canister set range. So, as you see, everything else the same, but just without the lower armor ring. Whereas, it's probably like that just so he can fit on the bike much better. Even though in the mini series, he just rode on the bike just as is with all of this. And, of course, did have the same thing with the the pilot uh, Toa Makuda's in the Mystica line Bonacle, of course, and yeah. And onto the vehicle itself, the Furno bike, of course. Which, as you see, quite unique design to it. Well, a little bit different than that of, like, uh, Millennium, the Throwbots line, of course, but at least a lot larger and larger wheels than that, and also plenty of good stuff going on with it. Like, as for the main framing of it, oops. So, like, these couple pieces I just realized I had wrong upside down, but anyways, but as for the shaping, which is quite technic based, and of course, do get a couple of wheels or large wheel pieces, like with most technic sets, and although the whole build of which is kind of similar to that of of uh, Speed of Demons bike in Breakout, of course. And as for the front part of which does have the Borok face shield piece, but in clear and orange, whereas all the rest were, were always in other colors, but never orange. So if you are to make an all orange Borok, perfect opportunity for that. And also, uh, also unique and exclusive to it are the uh, Mystica shield pieces, but also in orange, like exclusive to it. Yes, actually are exclusive. Also, also good for mocking. And of course, do you get the thorax launchers or meteor launchers to it, which you can squeeze and fire down like so. 
in the middle section being uh, Fantoka Makuda, Aunt Roz's uh, blades there, and also one of Fantoka Pohatu's uh, forearm piece, but in orange. If you were to make Fantoka Pohatu extra orange, that's nice for that. And if, and for the back part are the regular jet engine pieces with the Baraki uh, eye pieces or globe pieces, but in also in trans orange, also nice and all. And now, how you uh, put Furno on the bike? Kind of simple, really. If you twist the arms a little, spread the legs out, and just pin the arm his hands onto those handlebars there and take the blue pins and plug them into one of these holes of course and, and also what this rod sticking out for is just to act as a kickstand and, and although without it can stand up well, like true bikes and motorcycles can do. And it's now with they can drive around through Makahiro City. But also interesting thing with this uh, set is also is that also the whole build of which just the same uh, was also the same with uh, Stormers, but in Breakout episode, of course. But with some blue bits to it, and also uh, Dragon Bolt kind of crushed down on it in Brain Attack episode, also. So at least it had a prominent role in the mini series, of course. And so now, on to the final verdict on this set. Overall, this is, I think, a, a quite cool set from the time. Like, kind of big enough for the price and amount of pieces may be kind of questionable for the price point and whatnot of course but at least get some exclusive recolor of pieces good for your mocking and also a unique build to it even though you can also modify it to be stormers of course and now if you still have this set from back in the day well i hope you had some good memories of it and for those of you who haven't and still have access to it, I'd say truly go ahead and get it. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.